but perhaps the rocks of Mars will hide similar wonders to those of Earth. The miracle of life. That is cool. Look how much it narrows down there. Could that be a nematode? Penny's discoveries in these caves make the odds of finding life on Mars far higher. And life on Mars could mean life on other planets as well. If we find life on Mars, I think that our chances of finding life beyond Mars in other places in the universe um, go up enormously. Two planets in just one solar system actually have life on them. That means that life is going to be a pretty common phenomenon in the universe. So we're to search after Mars. This is probably the strongest candidate for alien life in our solar system. One of Jupiter's 16 moons, Europa. It appears tiny next to Jupiter, but Europa is almost as big as our Earth. This is an ice world, its surface frozen to a crippling 150 below zero. Life here looks impossible. But there is a plan to drop a probe onto Europa. And if they do, scientists expect to find something amazing. Beneath Europa's ice, there is an ocean. What will we find there? Scientists are almost certain the probe will find deep sea vents similar to the ones on Earth. Could the vents on Europa have life? If so, it seems certain we'll find life across the universe. I think there's frankly no doubt that there must be life elsewhere in our Milky Way galaxy, at least primitive life. The biochemists tell us, if you have a planet, with liquid water, you would get replicating molecules, the most successful of which would compete with the other replicating molecules, and there, voila, you have life, ever more complex. The question for which we don't have an answer is whether or not our Milky Way galaxy harbors any intelligent life. And that is the $64 million question. So, are we alone? The only intelligent creatures in a universe teeming with simpler life forms. It's hard to believe. With so much life, some of those creatures should surely have evolved into intelligent beings. Perhaps beings a little like us. That just begs more questions. Where are they, and why haven't they contacted us? After all, we've been making a lot of noise for more than 50 years. Here's the puzzle. Our radio broadcasts don't just reach our homes. They also beam out into space. I, George Walker Bush, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States.
planet Earth's history is being broadcast to the universe. So if extraterrestrials exist, then they should already know that we're here. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. But even radio takes years to reach the stars. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear. That I will. Baby, I've got speed. I, Jimmy Corbett, do solemnly swear. Hey, Richard Bilhaus, Nixon. Our radio broadcasts have been powerful enough to travel out into space for five decades. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. But in all that time, they've only reached a handful of the closest stars. To most of space, our planet appears completely silent. I, Dwight D. Eisenhower, do solemnly swear. Hello, hello again. There's this bubble of TV, if you will, that's moving out into space, and those earliest shows have reached out 40 or 50 light years. I mean, there are only a few hundred stars that are that close. The facts are that the aliens simply don't know we're here yet, and that's why we haven't heard from them, I think. Someday, as that radio bubble expands, someone out there might learn that we're here. But when? And what happens next? It's the sheer size of the galaxy. That's the problem. If extraterrestrials exist, they could live over there, on the other side from Earth. It would take our radio and TV broadcasts 100,000 years to reach them. And we've only been sending out signals for around 50. It just depends where E.T. lives. The signals from our planet have only reached a handful of the stars in our galaxy, but that may be enough. This star is just receiving our first radio broadcast. So if E.T. lives on a planet around here, they might have just found out that we exist. If they choose to answer, their message would take another 50 years or so to come back to us. So we might be waiting quite a while before we discover that we are not alone. Unless, of course, they have one of these. Intelligent beings from another world. What would they be like? Almost certainly like nothing we've ever imagined. For now, we can only speculate. But our search continues. And that means that one day, we may actually find out. <laughs> 